Hey guys, I hope that you're all doing well. Welcome back. Let's play some more EU4 Persia. This is Persia. And uh, so far so good. Campaign's been going really well. I'll just let that trend up. It's gonna go away after it's all done anyway, so no big deal. Um, but what we are doing right now is we are basically just gonna honestly be fighting rebels for a little bit. As, as lame as it is, we're gonna have some rebels and there's not much I can really do about it. Ottomans have declared war on who? QQ, Yerevan, that's right here. Unfortunate. Looks like we already got our border with the Ottoman. So these guys are allied to a couple of people. Ottomans, jeez, oh, Pete, they got a power block around me. Well, that's no fun. So let's take this tech so we're not uh, having unbalanced research anymore. Um, nobility for merchant guild. Uh, emergence are already pissed, so I guess I don't care a whole lot. Plus, tax is going to be good. Unfortunately, we're going to lose some legitimacy, but that's fine. Doesn't bother me any. Tech-wise, we're doing good. Next idea group is going to be poor, probably trade. Trade makes the most sense, in my opinion, especially because we're going to want to be spawning global trade. Reinforced cost is a really good one. So we'll take that. And then the next one will be religious wars. This actually lowers the amount of money that we're spending to reinforce our armies every week, every month as well. So that's really good. Is that a uh, infantry upgrade? No, it was not. There we go. We'll repay that loan, and there we go. We're actually having some uh, good luck with our rebels as well. Nobody is firing, which is nice. Um. I'm not gonna be stating any of this up, so I'm just gonna just gonna do it. It's fine. It's whatever. Let's just go ahead and keep Artelon out of that. Our air is what? Fertile. Very nice. Very good. We're just gonna keep on converting these provinces, making sure everything is the correct faith. Okay, very good. Beautiful. Only lost about 2,000 men. Are they taking attrition over here? 22. We're good. Just waiting on some stuff over here. Farce is going to be our next war. So, I need to find a way to isolate these guys or wait for them to be... Let's see here. Best guess. We want them to be at war um, to the point where they're more than likely not going to be. Look at this hug box. What a absolute lame hug box this is. So Delhi is allied to Afghanistan. Transoxiana is rivaled to Great Horde and Oirat. Oirat is still a horde. And the Ming are being conquested. Oh, okay. I haven't looked over here in a minute. Papal State has owns most of Italy. Looks like uh, Hungary has migrated up a bit. Um, geez. The Platinate looking good. Brandenburg looking okay. Commonwealth randomly has giant Palots and Chernigov in it. So uh, probably some rebel issues going on over there. Burgundy ate almost half of France. Um, definitely has Pierre. So that's good. Um, wow. This is some crazy changes over in Italy, or Italy, in Europe. Naj, looking pretty good. I think they'd make a great vassal, especially if I wanted to spread a bit of that Zoroastrian faith. Am I right, or am I right? So I think I need to find a strong Indian friend. Looks like, um, John Poor is just gone. So. Corsan is also allied to Delhi. Hmm, I think this is honestly probably my best bet so I can get this cl this claim over here I have permanent claims on all of this land. I think or no. These are fabricated claims hmm. This is tough man It's tough
Um, Artabel, nobility state loses or not. Do I care about local tax modifier for a couple of years, 20 years in one province for nobility? Nah, that's fine. Matter of fact, that allows me to do this click. So I'll do that. That sounds pretty good. Very good. Okay. Bit of a speed five simulator for now. Let's see how things are going. Let's go ahead and improve relations with you and make sure we're sending you officers. Oh, I'm sending these guys arm. Oh, nobody pointed that out. Ah, I meant to do this, which will give them extra prowess in the fields. Weeds in the garden. Side with the clergy or the nobility. And they're super disloyal. Let's go ahead and make sure we take away some provinces from the nobility. So we need 4%. Oh, wow. Let's just def definitely take away Shervon. Oh, they just got Shervon. Yeah, that's unfortunate. But it's okay. It's not hurting my income too much. Okay. How is our... So we're up to 31 force limit, which is really good. I definitely need to build up a war chest for a bit. So our capital and everything. So Zoroastrian, it, faith is spreading. We're just going to keep on converting stuff. It's in our best interest. It's in our nation's best interest. Um, Almost up there with uh, admin. So we're almost caught up. I will take this. Still, It's going to give us the... Uh, Uneven tech, but it also pays us an extra like ducat and a half a month, which is pretty good. Aang has gone bankrupt, but I don't think that's any surprise to anybody. This also puts us ahead on Diplo ideas, which is really good. Because we can take our trade idea. I am going to go ahead and uh, focus Diplo. That way we can power through this idea group. Abnon will catch up. It's fine. It'll be good. So, Zoroastrian Persia. Let's take a look at what our army quality looks like. So these guys have their maintenance turned down, so that's not helpful. We're up there with Burgundy. We're over Burgundy. More than the Commonwealth. More than Aragon. So, it's quite good. Basically, I just need one of these guys to dishonor a call to anything. And it's going to make things a lot easier for us. Um, man, this I'm just so hugboxed in here. Look at this. This is the dumbest hugbox I've ever seen in my life. And then the Ottomans have warned me on the other side. So, looks like this is a bit of a speed five round, unfortunately. But we'll, we'll get it sorted out. It's not a big deal. go. Truce of Sauron is over. Let's see what their army looks like. So we're looking for Transoxiana has 30,000 men in the field. Farce has 23 or yeah 23,000. Um, Afghanistan, 13, so that would be tough because Oman only has 9k, um, and he's allied to Najd as well. Dude, this is wild. He's actually allied to everybody around me. Damn, dude. Yeah, I guess we take some time and build up our uh, economy is what it seems like is the uh, correct plan of attack for this now boring bit of time here.
It's a nice looking religious map mode though. It is getting better. So we're definitely gonna take this tech as well. Once we're ahead, we'll start working on ideas. Not really too keen on working on ideas if you're not ahead on tech, uh, unless it's a tech that you don't need. We need this tech. Matter of fact, this tech is going to make it easy to win this war. Because we will be two, two techs ahead and three techs ahead. Um, so I should probably actually start putting some money into building up my front line a bit more. What is the combat width? 27, so we can handle that. Let's go ahead and have you guys split. Have you guys take care of this. Have you guys take care of this. What in the world? Why so unrest? Oh yes, getting the missionary there. Let's go ahead and get this extra global trade power. It's gonna be super nice. Go ahead, take them out, boys. We actually will have a good general over there, too. So, is that mountains? Damn. Yeah, that's not what you like to see, but that's okay. Um, I should probably build a couple more cannons as much as I hate to. We're definitely going to need it. Yeah, this mill tech is going to be crucial. 9, 9, 10. Yeah, nah. Not Wharf. No. Jeez, oh, Pete. Get him out of there. I'm losing all my manpower. So up to three cannons. Uh, admittedly, I, they're not going to be super helpful because they're not really good until Miltech 13 when you get an extra cannon buff, but uh, still worth building. to get. I want to get that fourth cannon so we can start knocking down, get a minus two roll on uh, the big forts. So let's see here. Who's got the smallest hug box available? Afghanistan has a huge hug box. They're all now... This is the most ridiculous thing I have ever actually seen in my life. Like, this is so annoying. Looks like I just have to say Leroy Jenkins and just go for it. Um, let's take a look at our fort line. Unfortunately, I'm really thinking, like, I need to build a fort here. Let's go ahead and build a fort in a mall. And then another one in... We need to drop mountains up here? No. Kashan would be a good one, which we... Yeah. Okay. This might seem crazy, but we need these forts up here. This will block this, and this will block this, and then we can actually just get rid of this one there. Save the money. I don't think I need... Uh, this is Highland, so we're going to keep this one here because it will block off the land over here. So they can't get up through these mountains. See? Ah. Unfortunate. You hate to lose prestige like that, but that's fine. Do we get bonuses from being ahead of time? No, we don't. Muslim Musketeers, I like that. Let's go with, um... Okay. Look at that. Just like that. 12, 12, 11. We're at 10, 12, 12. I think there's no time like the present. Afghanistan will not join. Wait a minute. Ooh. 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 Okay, well, I definitely want to attack Farce. That's going to be huge. And I will call Oman in. Oman will take out Yas, and Najd will probably beat up on Oman. And I can just 1v1 F or, uh, Yas and beat him down. Why is Afghanistan not joining? Debt. <laughs> I love that. Okay. Let's go ahead. Let's shuffle split these guys first and foremost. So we have two even stacks here. Let's get you guys down here. Go ahead and make the Shaw a general. We have two three-star siege guys, which is great. So, printing press is here. I will eventually need to um, develop that. So, where are you? Why are you getting colonialism, huh?
not so Fars has embraced it? Where? Mitch where? Does it really say that? Current not trade company and owner has embraced colonialism. How has he embraced it? I don't get it. Does it say that then? He has. And these guys are never gonna get it. So it's fine. Um Alright, so let's go ahead. Is this active? It is. So, let's call for the Holy War. So, let's see. Here's forts. There we go. I don't want to split up, but uh, it's probably for the best. If we can siege down as many forts as possible in time, the better. So, more debt for nobility loyalty. Probably not really worth it, right? They're going to stay loyal regardless. I'll just lose the admin points. It's fine. Let's get onto his fort. I don't want them to group up, but if they do, it's not really a big deal. So... I don't really care a whole lot about it. Let's just take a quick look here at the army. War enemies and allies. So, Transoxion has a lot of men and a lot of manpower. Um, unfortunately, these forts will not be ready in time for us for this war, which is kind of dumb. I don't know why I didn't think about that, but that's fine. It doesn't matter. The big thing is, is that he broke this alliance off, and in, with Transoxiana, I'm gonna have him break his alliance. We're gonna break up this hug box. It's gonna be very important. And he's not gonna get past these mountain forts, so it's fine. He can siege all this down. It really isn't gonna be a huge deal to me. I mean, I'm not gonna. It's literally gonna be no skin off my back. I'll siege it all back. We'll beat him up on these mountain forts. Hopefully we can... Oh, shoot. He's coming for me. This is mountains, so... uh, Let's see here. Transoxiana, army quality. Lower morale, lower discipline. What's his tactics? I don't know. We'll see. I think we might actually win this. Oh my gosh, yes. Definitely. He actually just broke that siege as well, which is awesome for us. So that's huge. <laughs> um, this is great. They can totally just be a punching bag for me down there. So that's uh, that's wonderful. Um, the major thing is, is we are going to need to piece these guys out. Let's see here. There we go. Let's siege them down over here. This is mountains as well. They're probably coming for me down here. Um... If they are going to come into this province over here in Shiraz, we're definitely going to be fighting them over there. Yeah, I think they're coming for me, but they have no general, which doesn't make sense if that's actually what they're going to be doing is attacking me. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. Cool. Let's full occupy them as best we can. Unless they're marching that army. Ooh, shoot. Okay. Um. Yeah, that's no good. Can't win that one, that's for sure. Let's go ahead and on the fourth, have you guys flee over. Let's just have them all over here. And that'll be fine. Let's get another dude steering over like here. How much are we transferring forward? Okay, not bad. Cool. We definitely are making eliciting changes in the trading, so. Basically, we want to spawn global trade, and uh, we have some work to do, but I think if we can steer from Gujarat and over here, we'll be all right. Because technically this is Asia, so we can't have Asian trade companies. So we have to directly control it, which is quite unfortunate, but it is what it is. And I'm not gonna cry about it. So let's, ooh. Let's see here. It's a lot of religious unity. Let's get working on that one. Okay, cool. So, let's go ahead and turn on the defensiveness edict over here. Make sure that they are not getting that siege in the near future. Let's 
gonna let these guys group up. We're still doing fine. Oman is uh, almost certainly gonna be piecing out here, but that's fine. I I don't care that much. All right, he broke the siege off, which is great. So we just need to find a fight over here that's good with these guys. New consort or no? So, no, they're gonna get away too. This, this fort right here is going to tilt me off the face of this earth because it blocks movement right here and right here. So if I want to go here, I have to either come all the way around here or all the way around there. Or I have to come all the way up around here and they're just going to keep on going back and forth. Which is going to just be so annoying. And then we're going to be taking a bunch of attrition in the meantime. Yeah, this is right. Get over here, please. Come on down. Let's go with... Um, Diplo rep is fine. Okay. Let's just win some sieges over here, some battles. You guys don't have to attach to me, it's fine. Enforce serfdom, that's fine. So... Let's go ahead and get our air over here. They're, they're not going to be able to get into our interior. So Oman just peaced out, which is no, no surprise at all. So the pirate coast is now firmly in the hand of the Farsi. Let's come on up here. They're not locked. Oh, they are locked in. Cool. Well, that's easy. We're totally just going to stack wipe them in their own mountain fort. Or not, but uh, they're going to attack me again in a moment here. Beautiful. That one should be a stack wipe. Still not, apparently. Well, whatever. That's all fine and dandy regardless. And they're coming back again. They want some more. So let's give it to them. They're just going to keep losing these fights over and over again. Like, they cannot handle these losses. Nor can I. But, uh... It is what it is. We'll, we'll make it work. I feel like that music's a little loud, but I'm going to let it roll. So, 35% chance disease outbreak because this game is a joke. But it's okay. There we go. Come on now. Win the siege. Win the siege. Turn this down just a bit on my end. There we go. Let's see here. I almost always go with the advisor cost. Merchant Monthly Loyalty, Merchant Guild Influence. Leader cost is always nice as well. Basically, it's an extra... It's five mil points off of every general. Nobility Loyalty is nice, but... Uh, admin Free Policies is nice. It pays itself off in the long term. I'm going to make sure I can do this. We're going to do that. So let's just win this dang siege here. Eventually. Or not. Alright, so they're marching off that. So they've lost just as many men to attrition as I have. Let's see here. How's a 71% siege going to go? 64 because of attrition. And then we lost it, you know? Because that's literally all I do on this game. This is. Do you like this, guys? Is this engaging to you? Do you enjoy watching this? Me losing two 64% sieges? Never goddamn lucky man never i never get lucky i am never lucky i feel you budget monk i feel you brother in the the deepest darkest parts of my soul i feel you never lucky and they can come over to this fort and they'll win like a seven percent siege because that's what happens with the ai in this game all right anyways let's get these all sieged up We go let's get you guys over here then we're gonna get them off that fort if they win this 21 percent i'm gonna probably have a brain aneurysm so let's go ahead over here see if we can get a quick 10 to 1 overrun over here they want a 21 percent okay that is bull that is bull crap get out of here no what why were they so slow to get off that fort oh my gosh 
This game, man, I'm telling you, it is just out to get me. Absolutely bogus. Come on now. Now let's go win these sieges real quick. I'm just gonna go ahead and go. Let me win my siege back, thank you. All right. So. I need to kill off Transoxiana's army. That's gonna be important here. We have such low manpower. Ugh, I'm gonna have to do this. Ugh, I hate to do that. Go ahead and turn this off so we're not paying for it. That's that one's probably still worth it. I'll, I'll we'll go with that one for now. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and see if we really. It's not like I'm pay playing super fast and out of control or anything, you know. Jeez, oh Pete. I have no manpower, man. Hey, could you guys please go siege him down? Guys like Mook. All right, we'll wrap this war up in the next one. So far, so good. It's definitely going fine. It's just like we're taking so many losses, man. There's just so much attrition in this area because of all the garbage terrain. And uh, I'm not sure if he actually has ideas. He does have defensive, fully finished defensive. So we're taking extra attrition basically no matter what. Though we also are working on it, but we're not there yet. So he's uh, he's got the edge in that department, but we'll get it. We'll make it work out. It'll be fine. We'll get the rest going in the next episode. So hope you guys are enjoying. Show your support. Leave a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you want to check out the Discord or support me on Patreon, links are in the description down below. And with all of that being said, this is Chewy Shoot, and I'll catch you guys later. A big special thanks to Bloodbound92, Valentel, CWG, Dutch Terror, J Clampett, Yodaldo, Classified for Life, Corbett Gaming, Michael Walker, Palmer, Jonathan Crane, Airborne Animal, and all my other awesome supporters on Patreon. I appreciate you guys. Check out the two series linked on the left and the right, and don't forget to subscribe.